Let us quickly see how sorting works in Elasticsearch. I'll quickly head back to Kibana and this set of eight documents will be our data set for examples in this video. We all know that how to do a inquiry search. Now let me quickly execute this and I see that I have four hits where the field job description has the term developer in it. So now I want to sort it according to salary. What I will say here, I can say and and I can say sort. I am specifying another query parameter which is sort and I will tell Elasticsearch to sort it according to salary. And yes, indeed, we can see that our results are in increasing order of salary. But as you all know, this is just not the preferred syntax of talking to Elasticsearch. So let's come to the request body syntax of the query DSL. I will say here sort and the field that I want to sort on is salary and the order that I want is let's say ascending for now. I send this request and yes, I get exactly the same result that I had got here. If I want the descending order, I can just simply change the ASC to DESC and yes, our results are in descending order. So far, so good. What happens when I try to sort the documents based on the name field instead of salary? Oh, I get an error. So it tells me that text fields are not optimized for operations that require per document field data like aggregation or sorting. So these operations are disabled by default on these fields. Um, that essentially means that on any of the text fields like name or job description, any sort of operations like aggregation or sorting, uh, which require access of field level data are disabled by default. Why is it so? Uh, this is because you guys might remember that this text is broken into tokens and it is stemmed and normalized and used in the creation of the inverted index. But there's no real need to worry out here. What I can do is I can say name dot keyword and what happens now if I send send? Yes, I get some documents and indeed they are sorted by name. Now you guys might be wondering that you are not able to see a field called name.keyword here. Let me show you why this thing works. If I say get user, it will show me the mapping of my index. Here I can see that I have three properties. One is job description, one is name and one is salary. Salary is of type long, which is a numeric type and we can easily sort on a numeric type as you guys might have made out by now. On a field of type text, this, this such a field will be analyzed and we cannot search on it directly. But Elasticsearch is smart enough and inside this field, it also provides us with a keyword field is of type keyword and keywords are not analyzed for searching. Therefore, this field which is name.keyword will have all the original data stored in it but it will ignore the data after the 256th character. This is also an example of where Elasticsearch has used reasonable defaults for structuring our data because we know we specified that we also want to store the name field or the job description field as keywords. Let us see similarly what happens when instead of name.keyword, I try to sort based on job description. I send this request and yes, again, I get this error. But in the mapping, we saw that we also have the job description.keyword field and I can easily use this for sorting. What we'll do next is that we'll use both the job description as well as the name field for sorting. Now remember that firstly, this field will be considered for sorting, but if this field seems to have a clash, then the next field will be used. So in the first one, we say that we want to compare documents based on name dot keyword. 
and if the name happens to be same we will compare them based on the job description i send this request and we see here that we have two kents and we can see that indeed the documents are sorted in order of job description where the name is the same uh, suppose if i say job description descending then what happens oh yes we can see that both the kents are here but the order is reversed as compared to the previous result because we said that we want the job description to be sorted in reverse that is descending order and that covers the basics of sorting documents or results in Elasticsearch. Um, we'll also quickly go to the documentation and we'll see a few other things that uh, sorting provides. Now, suppose if you have data of the form, say like this, you have numeric data in an array, then you can give a mode field in the sort here, which can be either average, sum, max, or min, and it will perform this operation on this array. In this case, it, it will do an average, and then it will compare that average to other documents to rank your results or to sort your results. Then we have other sections here, sorting with nested objects in case your objects are deeply nested, how to perform sorting in that case. We also have uh, a case of missing values where, uh, you know, certain values might be missing for comparison, then what to do in those cases. And uh, lastly, we also have geodistance sorting, that is sorting based on locations. Now you can read through all of the documentation because if I start discussing about everything, this video will like become really long. So I'm leaving you at that. This is the page of the documentation and I highly recommend all of you to read through it and try to understand it. And really just uh, put in queries into Kibana and try them out yourselves. You learn so much more that way. And that's going to be it for this video. If you find the content of the video helpful, please do hit the like button. And if you find the content of my channel helpful, please click subscribe. You can also hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. And like always, thanks a lot for watching.